And I even hear tell about some guys on the internet who are working on some kind of podcast contraption. <laughs> It'll never work. There are thousands of Disney podcasts on the internet, and this is one of them. I'm Jake. I'm Josh. I'm Jordan. And you're listening to... Well, on that note, guys, can we talk some Disney? Hell to the, yeah. Man. <laughs> like, that's a lot of enthusiasm. Yeah, we don't we do not do that here. Ah. <laughs> I need you to tone that down too sweet, sister. Yeah, you're at a 10. We need you at about a 4. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah, zero, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that made me laugh. Alright, what are we doing now? Hey! First... Someone got it. Did you hear about this? Not, no, you probably haven't because I'm about to tell you. And if you already did hear about it, why aren't you guys doing this? Oh. On Thursday, uh, next Thursday, not this Thursday, the following Thursday that comes prior to this one. I post this one. <laughs> Next Thursday. Following Thursday prior to this one? That's like last Thursday. Oh, no. We missed it. <laughs> Shit. But when will this be now? <laughs> Soon. <laughs> Stupid time loops. Soon. But. Um. What was I? Oh. Uh, next Thursday, Disney is unveiling their new cruise ship. The Disney. Does anyone know the name? Does anyone know the name? It's the way. No. It is the wish. I, I hear Wait, it myself in an echo in somebody else's. Yeah, I hear Jordan too. No, I can, I can hear Jordan in an echo as well. I hope it's not me. Uh, I mean, I haven't heard Jordan in an echo for the last two and a half months. So, <laughs> so do something <laughs> about <Damn> it. it. <laughs> anyway, um, um, yeah, the wish. Aren't they, aren't they doing like a live? So not alive, but aren't they doing some kind of like television show special about it? Yeah, yeah. It was funny. I got an email about it. It says reserve your spot for this virtual conference. I'm like, it's a virtual conference. How many spots are there? Like, <laughs> 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 sky's the limit here, guys. I don't know what I'm reserving my. Like, we're all getting a front row seat. <laughs> so, uh, but I am excited about it. And I don't really have much else to say because it has not yet been unveiled. But it's something I'm looking forward to. I yeah, that's gonna be I know nothing about these new ships, see. but I like new ships. I like the old ships too. Yeah, is isn't there already a Disney Wish? No, there's a oh. Magic and the Wonder, and then what are the two other? The Dream and the Fantasy. Oh, wish wish Sounds was just one that's already been uh, it's already been announced. That's um, one. wasn't it the? I thought it was the wonder. Yeah. Is that what I what did I say? Oh, I didn't hear what you said. Oh. <laughs> I heard I heard dream and fantasy. Oh, and the magic and the wonder are the are the older ones. Okay, yeah, correct. There's a chance I cut out, but also when you. I, there's a chance I didn't say wonder at all. Like I don't trust myself on things I say. So you probably said it, and I just wasn't paying attention. Well, I hope it's recording, and we can go back and check. Nah. <laughs> why? Why start now? You're right, Giuseppe. Don't worry about it. We'll just we'll just plow through it. And Robbie's gone. Ah, uh, freeze! Freeze! Oh, I'm still here. Wait, am I gone? Yeah, no, you're still here. That was weird. Robbie pushed the button. Robbie's picture's gone. No, Robbie's picture's back. Uh, yep. Anyway, next up in news. And Paul. This week in penis news, guys. I'm excited for this. Uh huh. So after all that we went through last week, talking about that Morocco pavilion penis. Hoping, hoping that they were just going to make a bigger penis. Just mon monstrous peen. Oh, that penis. 
Mon- Monstrous Peen is the name of the episode. Yeah, no, they just put a door into their penis locker. <laughs> yeah, well, no, they, they circumcised it, and then they put a door in it. Yeah, so the day after our episode dropped last week, which I've noticed a trend here lately that it's always the day after our episode or the day after we record. Like, I, I feel like Disney watches us, and they're like, <laughs> we're going to screw up their entire flow here. So anyway, the day after our episode <laughs> dropped last week... Uh, after we talked extensively about the extensiveness of this extension. That was, that was pretty good. That was on the fly. Good job. Thanks. I like that. <laughs> uh, they did not make it bigger. <laughs> they unveiled it, and it's, <laughs> it's just a doorway with an arch or something. <laughs> Monstrous <laughs> peen. So, yeah, this, uh, <laughs> this week in penis news is kind of disappointing. It got circumcised. Yeah. But they took too much off. It was a botched circumcision. Yeah, that's what happens when they use a guillotine. <laughs> First of all, Jillian's over here saying more penis, more fun. And she's not wrong! <laughs> Jesus. Uh... <laughs> what? You can't argue with that, with Josh. Yeah, it just wasn't expected. No. <laughs> you never expect a penis. I was thinking the Inquisition. <laughs> Never on the... <laughs> Penis, Spanish Inquisition, kind of the same thing. Mm. Yeah, they were dicks. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I wasn't expecting anyone to actually tie it together so well. That was that was very articulate, Jordan. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> At least in... Weird, we're trying to do a podcast and Jake's tying penises together. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, how, how else are we supposed to get ratings? I f- yeah, weird weird way to promote your OnlyFans page. Is it though? <laughs> your your Romy Rans. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my Scooby Doo themed OnlyFans page. <laughs> uh, next up in news. All right, this one's kind of a kind of a bummer. Except for Jordan, because he already has one. So it's a bummer for the rest of us. Oh, we're, we're, we're moving on from penis news. Oh. <laughs> I should have specified that up top. Uh, lightsaber news. Oh, I did hear about that. Yeah, so apparently... So, Schwartz news? Kind of. But, you know, the real ones. Uh... The lightsabers at the lightsaber building experience. This, was it Savi's workshop? Did I get that right? Correct. Uh, they're going up in price, twenty dollars. Damn. I wonder if that's because the capacity isn't. Uh, they're not taking as many people, and the park isn't getting as many people. So I wonder if they're trying to recuperate some kind of loss for that. Uh, I didn't even think about that, but you're probably right. That does make probably. sense. But. Also, what I thought was, uh, if my two hundred dollar lightsaber is going up to two hundred and twenty dollars, like I don't think that's really gonna break the bank. No, I mean you're already spending two hundred. Yeah, what's what's another twenty? I mean that, 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 that's still, still like at two hundred twenty dollars. It's like still like two hundred forty dollars more than I'm willing to pay for a lightsaber. Wait, so you want a <laughs> lightsaber and them to give you twenty dollars with it? <laughs> no. <I'm> just... <laughs> saying that, that, that it's it's okay i'm sorry my bad my math is wrong it's 180 dollars more than i'm willing to pay for a lightsaber that was my droid i'm sorry <coughs> they, they looked all confused with the droid noises were it was my droid uh, i thought like your wash your laundry was done yeah you have a little dishwasher but yeah why are you doing laundry in your dishwasher <laughs> What the that fuck? is not where that goes. I'm laundry my dishwasher. I said your laundry was done, and you said, "Yeah, your dishwasher's done." No, I said, "Well, it was my dishwasher." Right. But then I said, "But yeah, it's done." Yes. <laughs> All right. It's not my fault. You can't fucking pay attention. Stay on the same page, Jacob. I don't see where the confusion is. I'm not. I'm not the one putting laundry in my dishwasher, man. It's just, dude. Have you not tried it? Just air dried socks, just nice and fresh. I uh, I've put you put fabric softener in the pre wash. <laughs> Wait, shit, that's backwards. Yeah, that's just gonna get rinsed right out. 
Oh. But I. Oh no, that's why my socks are all stiff. That's not the only reason. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I have put my clothes in a pizza oven before to warm them up. How'd that work? Did that'll they... make them pretty crispy. They were crispy. Did it taste good? <laughs> <laughs> like sweet, savory marinara. The marinara echoing here. <laughs> yeah. That was, when you, you said marinara and it like echoed a lot. <laughs> well, I, like, you kind of the purpose. I, I like marinara. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I totally forgot what we were talking about. Lightsaber is $220 now. But yeah, agree with Josh. Two, Did you just say $220 an hour? <laughs> I said now, but I kind of slurred through it. Oh. So yeah. <laughs> Two hundred twenty dollars an hour. If you take longer than an hour. Parks con. What's Parks con? What's Parks con? Okay, now let's move on to Parks con. Oh God. Wait, no. It was a uh, fucking. What? We're not going to Parks con yet. Hold on, there was one more thing. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm not quite ready for Parks con because it's a lot. Uh, the Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings trailer dropped today. Did you guys see that? I did watch it. It was nice. Okay. I have no idea who Shang Chi is. Me neither. But. It looked amazing, and not knowing who it is is not a complaint because I didn't know who the hell who the hell the Guardians of the Galaxy were. I was just like, oh, I guess we're gonna do this, and I just gave Marvel my trust, and it turned out amazing. So, just doing the same thing again with Shang Chi. Yeah, I mean, I've said it before. Like in Marvel, anything Marvel puts out, it's uh, I'm I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not even. <laughs> Speaking of which, stay tuned next week for a full hour of Falcon and Winter Soldier discussion because holy shit. Oh boy. There is a lot to unpack. Yeah. It's not even done yet. Ooh, boy. We're not going to talk about it now. <laughs> Robbie. <laughs> Herman. Uh, anyway, sh yes, yeah, Shang-Chi. I know nothing about it. It looked awesome. And I guess... I haven't seen that one yet. I'll look at the trailer tomorrow. There's a rumor and... I don't know if this is confirmed or not, but I guess the Mandarin, the real one, is supposed to be in it. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, oh, really? Ten Rings. <laughs> kind of has to be, right? Oh, yeah, I guess, I, guess, I guess that's his fan club, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Um, okay, that's, that's all I had for Shang-Chi. Uh, ParksCon, guys. ParksCon 2021. Woof. I don't even know where to start with this. So I'll let Jordan. It's a fucking dumpster fire. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, maybe about like a week and a half, week and a half ago. Wait, hold on, hold on, Jordan, pause. Robbie, what the hell? What? I can hear everyone talking yeah, in your you, room. You, you, you might have to mute it while you're not talking, bud. Ah, uh, okay, sorry. It's okay. All right, take it away, Jordan. Uh... About a week and a half ago, people started posting on Twitter about this thing called ParksCon. And the best I could uh, figure out with the minimal research I did up front about it was that it was a virtual convention for Walt Disney World, or at least primarily centered around Walt Disney World, uh, Disney World, Disneyland. And as I was looking through all of the people who were allegedly being at like there are guest speakers, uh, not one person affiliated with Walt Disney world <laughs> was mentioned <laughs> on the entire thing. And it was all influencers. It was all vloggers and bloggers and, uh, like Instagram influencers. And I thought, and I had recognized two names and I know that one of the names I recognized is not well liked amongst the Twitter Disney crowd. <laughs> uh, and uh, there, there was another name that I'm—I mean, I'm indifferent to. I don't really care one way or the other. But say, say uh, that loud. No, I'm not going to. Um, oh, come on! But the... cause I'm, no, because I'm not gonna—I'm not gonna—I'm not gonna do that. But I want to make the Hulk joke. <clears throat> what? <laughs> Say, say, wait, say what out loud? Lumangelo. Uh, oh, okay. Three names. Oh. Lumangelo Lou was one of them. Yeah, the guy that played the Hulk in the 70s. Woo, I got it. Yeah, that guy. All right. Good job, Jake. That's all I wanted. 
Um, so he's he is actually affiliated with Disney, right? Like he's he's on Disney's payroll, isn't he? I don't, I have no idea. I don't know either. How do I like? I mean, I know I know of Lou Mangiello. I I know that he does that some kind of like radio show, but I don't know if he actually does it for Disney or for fun. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Maybe if I wasn't such an asshole, I could just be nice and ask him. Also, but also, I, I don't really care because I don't really listen to his fucking radio show, so it doesn't really <laughs> fucking matter. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, yeah, and and I guess the whole point of the quote this quote unquote convention was. So you could you could pick you can watch all of these virtual speakers and get tips on your Walt Disney stay or your Walt Disney World trip or your Disneyland trip, which is weird for <laughs> a couple of reasons. One, all of these influencers blah blah blah, all of these influencers already have platforms. Oh, let me let me let me back up. In order to have access to this convention, it was a hundred and fifty dollars to two hundred dollars a ticket for the weekend, for the the weekend festivities. Wait, I don't even think it was a weekend. I think it was like a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I think it was during the week. <laughs> it wasn't even like over a weekend. Bank hours. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And and it was a hundred and fifty to two hundred bucks uh, for a, for a ticket or a virtual ticket, so you could have access to all of these speakers, but. One, all of these people who have the platforms that are these guest speakers, all of their content is already out there for free. All of them. On top of that, on top of that, there are tons of other content creators that do the same thing, whose, whose channels and content is free. So why on earth would somebody pay $150 to $200 for information they can just get for free that is already out there. Like guys, I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh no. What Josh? Five dollars. What? Five dollars for our park con. Like we pay them five dollars? No, no, they pay us five dollars and we give them all of our content for free. But they're getting all of our content for five dollars. <laughs> No, 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 no. They pay us five dollars, and they can still get our content for free. Hey, hey Josh, Jillian is one upping you. She said that if, uh -huh. if if Jordan does Ghastly Con, she'll give him her soul. I'm in. I'm. I'll, I'm gonna make something on Canva tonight after the podcast. That is some dangerous Robbie. business to deal in. No, you <laughs> shut your face, Robbie. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, right. also like right. Tim Hold so, wait, wait. So Jordan's a soul collector now? Always has been. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did not know this. I, I uh, have really promoted it. No, oh, I have needs for your services. No. Oh. Wow. <laughs> we'll talk. Okay. I'll be in touch. Okay. My number. Send me a text. Okay. Um, where was I? Oh, on top of that, the, they were talking about. Tips and tricks on, or, or, or tips and in, in good advice and whatnot for your Disney trip. But the Disney parks are operating a very specific way at the moment because of the global pandemic that has been going on. Wait, wait, there's a global pandemic? Surprise! Yeah, no, we didn't want to, listen, we didn't know <laughs> no. what to get you for your birthday. I, I thought that went away on November 5th. <laughs> hey, hold on. Put a pin in that. That's gonna come up later, Josh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Right, but the parks are operating in a really specific way right now. So these tips and tricks that they will talk about are either going to only specifically pertain to how the parks are operating right now, or the tips and tricks that they have always talked about that are on their pages for free. <laughs> talked about the way the parks were pre-COVID-19 pandemic. So none of that just makes sense. Like, what? which one is it? Because either way, it's going to be outdated information. Right, and we can't, they can't, like, do how the parks will be because we don't know. We don't know how the parks will mm -hmm. be. Exactly. And so anyway, people started to share this on Twitter. And of course, and you know what? Like, listen, I... 
there are some times whenever the members of Diz Twitter, whoever they be, get a hold of something and just beat it, beat it down. And sometimes I feel bad for some of the things that they get a hold of. <laughs> but every once in a while, they'll get a hold of something that legitimately deserves all of the awful criticism. Years ago, Dizflix was one of the things that <laughs> remember when somebody tried to do a paid content uh, a content account for just <laughs> vloggers and influencers. And I thought God, that... I, I forgot about that. We joked about that too. Yeah, we did. But anyway, so this is one of those few occasions where the internet just grabbed onto something and just beat it mercilessly. And I'm like, you know what? It probably deserved that. And well, it, it definitely did deserve it. But <laughs> I think after all of the criticism, oh, uh, the one of the one of the speaking of criticism, the main criticism about it was that like all of these people were white. There was not one person of color on this entire lineup and people and like people even said like hey why is everybody on your lineup white and one of the responses that i had found said oh we reached out to people of color uh to, to be part of this and we never got any response which is bullshit total bullshit and then some of my some of my theme park friends on twitter said there are tons of people of color who are making uh, great content and like you could contact one of them and their response was, okay, send us a list. That's the one I saw. That's what I was waiting for. And then, and then the response was, no, you fucking look them up because they're here. Like there are tons of people out here who are people of color making, making great Disney and theme park content. You just want those people of color to do the work for you. And like it, it was a, and rightfully so. Like they, they deserve every single ounce of criticism they get on that. Yeah, for sure. And so once that hit, and that got that circulated Twitter uh, for about a day or two, I had heard some people who were initially going to be speakers had had dropped off or dropped out. So I don't, I can't confirm. If, if it's still going on or not, or if they ha they've retained all of their original speakers. But I do know that there was one of the... I even retweeted this thread. I'd have to go back and find it. I can't remember uh, who whose who's Twitter, what their Twitter handle was, but it was basically this content creator for Disneyland. And she was... Or they, I don't know if she, you know her pronouns are she, her, or they, them. So I'm just gonna say they, them for it to be safe. Uh, I don't know if they were. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. They were they were contacted and were sent this video package that was specifically addressed to them. Like there was this video of a dude driving a car, and the guy looks into his passenger seat at the somebody filming and just says. Hey, and then they say their Twitter handle. We want you to be part of this parks con, and like the dude does this whole spiel while driving a car, not looking at the road at all. And uh, that that person uh, or that account went into detail, going, you know, I asked about all of these details. I didn't get any answer. I didn't get like I had all these questions, like why are you doing this and charging people for it whenever they can get all of this information for free, and. That per that that person or the account said, uh, or that that account never got a response from them, from from the people putting parts <clears throat> together. So, I mean, I, it would probably be a lot easier if I went and I found the. Uh, I mean the the retweet so I can I can put a name with a face. Yeah, I mean you explained it really well though. I I, I saw that same video too, and when I saw it, I was like. Are video cards a thing now? I guess. Cause like, What's a video it, card? It, it was a card, like a greeting card, but she opened it. Or they opened it. Sorry. With Jordan here. I don't know if it's she or they. I yeah, don't know. I'm, I'm just... Yeah. Being safe, like, like you said. And uh, it, it was like a screen inside. There was a video started playing in the video that Jordan just described. It was wild. Like Robbie's got a video card right now. It's weird. What, what does that mean? 
Oh, no, 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 no. That's a challenge coin. Nope, oh, shit, it disappeared. Did you see that? <laughs> so Jillian said that that invitation that we're talking about was a million times fancier than her wedding invites. Mm-hmm. But... Jillian, did, look, look at Jillian over here with wedding invites. Did your wedding cost each <laughs> guest one hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars to attend? Because if it didn't, you did it wrong. Man, our, our our wedding cake was literally a stack of Krispy Kreme donuts. This is also true. Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Jillian, if you don't profit off your wedding, then you're doing it wrong. Wow, we could have charged people to come to our wedding. We should have. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> they invested it all in yeah. Doge coins ten years later. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> oh, ten years later. <laughs> right. I thought you meant yeah. at the time. I was yeah. like, no, no, that was not a no, thing. No, not at the time. No, no, r roughly, well, eleven years later. <laughs> all right. Anyway, it was a dumpster <laughs> fire, so I don't know if it's still going on or not. But yeah, it's. I haven't heard anything, but I've been busy the last couple of days and haven't really been on Twitter much, which I didn't miss it. <laughs> oh, shit, I have a Twitter account. Yeah, I tagged you in something I last week, and that. then you never responded. It was like on Siblings Day. There was a Siblings Day on Twitter? Yeah, I wish you a happy Siblings Day and said that, like, you know, I don't know where I would be without you, and you mean yeah. a lot to me, and then you just never responded, I just so I deleted lost, it. like, 50 bucks. So Screw you. On I, I just lost 50 bucks in Dogecoin. I not. I gained 25 bucks in Dogecoin. Oh, no, no, no. I gained a whole hell of a lot more than 25 bucks than 50 bucks. I gained 20 pounds. I, I, I am literally up like 1600 some change. Money bags over here flashing his money around. That's a ton of money. Yeah. It's fake money. <laughs> the sad thing yeah. is, you're not wrong. <laughs> All money is fake. Oh, Jordan, I don't need that. <laughs> That's not the time for a financial crisis right now. Think about yeah, it. I know. <laughs> no, I don't want to think about it. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, too far. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing has value. Life is worthless. Stand the fuck by. I have no meaning. I can't. I can't find the. Oh, okay. I found it. I was about to say I can't find it. Uh, let's see. Okay, so she does go by she her. All right. So I. I, I didn't. I don't feel bad. Um, uh, it's at Minkus. M I N K U S. Minkus. That's fun to say. Yeah, Tiff. Tiff Mink, and I guess she. She does. Um. Disneyland videos, or or maybe not. I don't know. Uh, Pixie Dusted uploads. I've not watched anything from her. Yeah. Yeah, so she she does Disneyland stuff, and who boy, like it's that that whole thread basically said she was uh, invited and kind of like what I said earlier. She um, she asked all these questions that were like legitimate questions about like the operations and why are why aren't certain people being asked, and then there was no response to it. So, huh. And somehow the person who is running this, somehow the person who's running this roped Tony Baxter into doing something with it or for for this convention. I don't know the extent of how he's how he's uh, involved, but somehow somebody roped Tony Baxter into this. I feel like like wasn't one of the prizes like a dinner with him at an unspecified date on an unspecified so location. This, this was another big. So I'm glad you said that because I totally forgot about this. The one of the other big controversies was who gets all this money. Like what when you pay X amount of dollars for a ticket, where does all of this money go? So the person who is putting on ParksCon, I don't know that person's name, uh, and I don't really care. But it turns out that person was trying to in order to make this parks con a big thing gave extra incentive to all of the speakers saying hey if you can get people to buy tickets the more tickets you 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 sell specifically you'll get entered in to do for like a like a raffle or a drawing 
or something, and you'll win prizes for uh, how many people you get to buy a ticket. And one of those prizes was a dinner, a flight and a dinner with Tony Baxter. Wait, isn't that just a pyramid scheme? Yes. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. It, it was a misshape. <laughs> yes. Huh. huh. I okay. I have so many things like so many comments trying to rush through the same doorway and they're all getting stuck. But like, let me let me try to pull one out <laughs> because. Like, as bad as this horrible idea of a con was, like, on the surface, like, once everything was... When it was exposed that it was a pyramid scheme, it just got that much worse. Like, I hated it already, and so did most of the people. And then we just hated it so much more. Oh, it is... Okay, so I, I'm not really paying attention, I'll be honest. But is this kind of playing out like when that group in Orlando was busted for renting out? No. Um, it's actually nothing like that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, like I said, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> that was... Because I feel like those people double downed on it too. Yeah, I mean, it, those people did. And if that's the connection you're making, then yes. Okay, that's the connection I'm making. Yes! <laughs> Very astute observation, Josh. <laughs> I, I'm not paying attention. I, I'm literally looking at... <laughs> looking at my money bags. Anyway. No, no, it's like crocheting on Reddit. This is kind of interesting. That's weird. Um, so, Jordan, <laughs> I'll just talk to you then. What's up? <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, DisneyCon was a bust. I, I, mean, I have nothing else to say about DisneyCon, yeah. but I'm... ParksCon? ParksCon. You know, I, I don't even remember the name. <laughs> it's, it's so like, bad. It sounds like it's a whole bunch of bullshit. It. it is a whole bunch of bullshit. But it's, yeah, it does. Speaking of a whole bunch of bullshit, that leads us right into our main topic. Guys, the big news story of the week, and it shouldn't have been, but it is, is uh, Disney has updated their Disney look. <laughs> So I can get a job there now, huh? Uh, no. <laughs> oh. Because, okay. I, I don't know where to start this, so I'm going to say the the parts that my, every, the, the people that I don't like were freaking out about is I, I have I have the, uh, the employee handout right here in front of me. So I'm just going to okay. read you what it says about because it seems like the, the I, biggest I issue... just want you to skip to facial hair and tattoos. Yeah, no, no, that's exactly what I'm going to do because that was, seemed to be the biggest thing that people were throwing a fit about. So, body modification or alteration. And th again, this is right from the handbook. I'm not making any of this up. Intentional body modification or alteration for the purpose of achieving a visible physical effect that disfigures, deforms, or similarly detracts from a professional image is prohibited. So, no horns or anything. Examples include, but are not limited to, brands, body piercing, other than ear piercing. Let's, let's underline that like 14 times right now. Other than ear piercing. Tongue piercing or splitting, tooth filing, earlobe expansion, and disfiguring skin implants. Alright, everyone have that in your mind? Okay. Okay. Let's move on to tattoos. Again, straight from the handbook right here. Visible tattoos are permitted with the exception of placement on the face, head, or neck. Tattoos must be no larger than the cast member's hand when fully extended with the fingers held together. So we're talking about a tattoo on the arm this big. So I just need a little word of familiar already. Okay, well, Josh, yeah. here's the thing. Tattoos, oh wait, undergarments, which include matching fabric tattoo sleeves, are permitted for coverage of larger tattoos on the arms. Wait, so I could have a sleeve print tattoo to cover up my tattoo? No, when it says matching fabric, it means this sleeve has to match this sleeve. 
oh, and matching okay. with the uniform okay, you're okay, wearing. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> it's not gotcha. matching your tattoos. Okay, I was confused. Tattoos that depict nudity, offensive or inappropriate language or images, or violate company policies, including policies... Hey, hey she, she has a swimsuit on. She's not nude. Well, she'd be covered with a sleeve anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prohibiting well, I mean, discrimination... She's, because she's, she's slightly larger than my hand. Uh, prohibiting discrimination and harassment based on race, color, religion, sex, sexual orientation, gender identity... I'm proud of them for including gender identity. National origin, origin, sorry, ancestry, age, disability, or any other protected category are not permitted. So. Who would have a tattoo discriminating old people? <laughs> That's not where I thought that sentence was going at all. I was about to answer your question, <laughs> but then you threw me for a loop there at the end. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because if you said anything else, I was going to say, have you been to northern Idaho? Uh, <laughs> uh, I, where was the... Okay, facial hair. Facial hair should be neatly groomed and well-maintained. So, Josh, you're out. Sorry. The shaving... Uh, no, no, this is neatly motherfucking groomed and very well-maintained. That is not well-maintained. I spend, I spend money to maintain this motherfucker. Is it fake? It's money? like a lion's mane here, buddy. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a sick lion with mange. <laughs> no, no, no. This is interesting. No. The shaving of lines or shapes in facial hair is permitted, provided they do not depict offensive words or symbols. So I get. I can I can shave fucking words in my beard. <laughs> you, you can shave paragraphs in your beard. Uh, nails. Nails should be clean. If polish is used, it should be the same on each nail and well-maintained in one solid color or French manicure style. Charms or decals on nails are not permitted. Fingernails should not exceed one-fourth of an inch beyond the fingertips. And then uh, the last important one that regarding... The... This all seems very familiar. <laughs> the, the kid that's just gotten into the military... <laughs> <laughs> hair styling and hair coloring. Hairstyles that are clean and well maintained represent our Disney brand. Hair length, including completely shaved styling, is at the cast member's discretion. Hair below shoulder shoulder length should be secured if it falls forward over the face or covers the name tag while working. If the hair color is changed, it should be well maintained and in natural occur occurring hues. Examples of hair colors that are not considered natural would be colors such as blue, green, pink, purple, etc. Uh, so, so, so normal corporate stuff. Right. And then, like, makeup should just be normal, applied makeup, blended in, in neutral colors, personal hygiene. They want you to wear deodorant and bathe. <laughs> so so what they're saying is you can have a nice, clean, manicured beard and tattoos now. And people are freaking out about this because, you know, it's fucking 2021. Okay, do, do we have a pretty good picture in our mind of what these new protocols are which i yeah, they, they, would, they would ask me to trim my beard a little bit and wear a long sleeve shirt and i because... don't it didn't mention anything about hand tattoos so i don't know what that says about you might have to well my hand tattoos are smaller than my hand he's got a point <laughs> <laughs> huh. he does all right josh i need you to go apply for disney anyway but not, not using Josh as an example. This all still seems insanely clean cut, right? Like, is anyone going to disagree with that? No, it totally does. But um, as far as I know, I could apply for an engineering job on the uh, railroad, Disneyland Railroad. Oh, I was like, okay. <laughs> Disneyland Railroad makes a lot more sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 well, tomorrow... Not Tomorrowland Railroad. Um, Tomorrowland Railway Station. The Magic Kingdom Railroad. That's the one. Yeah, because th those those guys they just gotta do their beards up like like fancy fucking you know eighteen eighties style. At the Tomorrowland Station. I don't know all of the stations. Well, you specified the Tomorrowland got, one, got, so they gotta change their beard style at every station. So they're not driving the train really. They're just fixing their fucking beards. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. 
<laughs> okay. Before I move on to the game of shame, um, does anyone have anything questions or anything to add? Robbie does. What, Robbie? I gotta go. I need to get my laundry and then get the hay. Yeah, go, uh, go get your laundry out of the dishwasher. Thanks for stopping by, <laughs> Robbo. All right, Robbo. Thanks, bud. Thank All you, right. buddy. Bye, guys. Yeah. Thanks, Hiller. <laughs> All right. Anyway, does anyone have any questions or comments on the code before I move on and to explain to you guys what I've so, done? So just, so just, just to confirm, people it's are nothing... angry. Sorry, Jordan. You cut people out. For are... I didn't hear the. Go ahead. Uh, hold on. I'm... I lost my screen for a second. Hold on. Ah, uh, see, it wasn't just me. No, it was. Uh, what the hell's going on? I lost my I lost my Skype screen. There we go. Okay. So just to confirm, you can uh, or cast members can now have well groomed yes. beards. They can now have ear piercings as long as they're right. not gauged. They can paint their fingernails if they are male mm -hmm. or female. They yeah. can have visible tattoos as long as it's not as l bigger than that, the size of their hand from tip of the finger to right. the bottom of the palm. And only, only on the hands. And some Arms cast... No, nothing from the neck up. Right. So they obviously you can't have a like face or neck tattoo right. or head tattoo. And some cast members depending on where they or what attraction they work for can either wear shorts or pants yes. like including the women. right so that, that's actually the shorts or pants in the summertime that's it is fucking huge actually so what i i don't understand why this is an issue <laughs> like i feel like this is the absolute least that Disney could oh, be yeah. doing. So and people and people are like, I saw this the crazy backlash on Twitter about this because people were like, oh, saying that Disney was going downhill. Disney's gonna look so, awful now. And but, buddy, like half the people that are complaining about the way the cast members look have fucking arm tattoos. So so he, yep. he, here here's. Here's my analogy. Did you guys see a couple weeks ago when they announced that more places inside of Disneyland are going to be offering uh -huh. alcohol? Did you see how everyone was screaming, but Walt won't want it this way? Yeah. I've never heard anybody say that at all, ever. <laughs> okay. Wait, are okay. you familiar with the so, internet? So all I'm saying... <laughs> the entire All I'm internet. saying is Homeboy died in 19... What? 70? 65. This is true. Wait. Really? Like the year, the year Disneyland 66. opened? 66. 66. That's, he, Disneyland Are opened in 55. Are you on a Disney podcast? Right. <laughs> right. I'm sorry. Numbers are not my thing today. No. Uh, yeah, anyways. Um, but, you know... Times motherfucking change. Like, even Jake has a it's tattoo. Not... Like, yeah, it's on my leg, but he still has covered. a tattoo. But here's the thing. Josh brings up a very good point before I go into my idiots of the internet. Uh, the prior, like, pri like when the Disney look started, like, the rule was no facial hair, right? But I thought that went away right, a couple years ago. I'm saying when ago. it started. Like, when Disney night opened, no facial hair. Yeah. And yeah. then, because you don't want to look like a beatnik. And people think Walt would be rolling over in his grave because of this, despite the fact that Walt sported facial hair. Walt wasn't even like, like the <laughs> he wouldn't have been allowed in. So don't come at me with Walt would no. He he was a rule breaker. He broke his own rule. Do, do you guys remember? You guys probably don't remember. And one more example. Go ahead though. At, Farms at, one remembers. Po at one point, Flea tried to get into the into Disneyland with his full mohawk, and they wouldn't let him I in. I feel like that's an urban r legend. It probably is. Uh, but I like anyway, it. these same people are complaining about you know it, it's it's like the McGrath brothers urban <laughs> legend. We don't bring that up. Uh, these same people <laughs> complaining about 
these rules being loosened. I bet that I bet a lot of them are really big fans of Joe Rody. Who, even under these new rules, wouldn't be allowed to be a cast member. Mm. So, yeah, doesn't he have like different color painted fingernails and a big, you know, ear? <laughs> Luggage tags on his earlobe. Yeah. Nothing against Joe Rody. Joe Rody's kicks ass. I'm just saying. And, and, and there's nothing wrong with his uh, body right. decorations. So, here's what. Like, I think if, if I won be afraid of getting those cut and moving parts of my helicopter, I'd totally do something like that. No, yeah, no, you bring up a good point. I, I, I wouldn't want you to do that either. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so here's what I did, guys. And it does not make me happy, but I scoured the internet. And so when Disney announced this, they released a video on Facebook and Instagram about it and some news agencies. I scoured the comments sections, guys, and I found, well, I found some people that aren't happy about this. You want to hear some of these? It's not going to, it's not going to make you happy. So, well, keeping in mind everything that we just went over, how it's really not that big of a deal. Like, anyway, here we go. So the first one comes from the uh, Facebook comment section from the video that Disney released. From Paula Howell Warden. Yeah, I'm going to say their full names because it's on social media and they're the ones putting it out here, so I don't feel bad about it. Paula says, This is an absolutely terrible idea. I'm going to give them all stupid voices like that, too. (laughs) That's all she said. (laughs) Oh. Well, that was anticlimactic. Well, here's the thing. I'm starting light, and as I go on, my sources get a little extreme. So that was the only fa- that was the only Facebook okay. one I saw. I think Disney goes through and deletes the the uh, negative comments on their social media accounts, which is fine. They have every reason, every right to do that. So it was kind of hard, but anyway, we'll get there. So this one is from Tina Weebers on Instagram under the same video, but on Instagram. So Tina says, so I guess cast in air quotes, air quotes. Cast member is not really going to be a cast member anymore. The whole idea is to be playing a part. You are cast as an actor. Might as well just call them employees if they're just going to be expressing themselves. That is just a dumb (laughs) comment. Like, that comment is so asinine. Does does that person live in Florida? I have no idea. I didn't didn't see where these people are from. That's neat. So, uh, again. Did, did you see her sneeze? Yeah, why? I sneeze. Uh, I mean, you got a valid point, but never mind. <laughs> All right, so this next one also comes from Instagram. Uh, from Miss Nikki in fifth. All she says is, not a fan of the tattoo option. <laughs> Fuck Nikki Well, Miss Nikki. 20 bucks, says, 20 bucks says that person oh, has a tattoo. <laughs> Got a I, mean, I, bet either... I bet you I bet you it's a little butterfly on her ankle. <laughs> That's exactly what I was just know. gonna say. Like butterfly <laughs> and everything. <laughs> it's it's the it's the ace of spades in her ankle. That's what oh, it is. Oh shit. So anyway, uh Facebook and Instagram was kind of fruitless, so I moved on. I moved on to I went to the YouTube link of the same video. Things got a little more saucier in the YouTube link. Well, it's because, you know. So, Mr. Lamont Sanford commented, So now another place, like Pro Sports, where we all wanted to escape wokeism, is conquered by wokeism. What the fuck does that even mean? What is this? Like, seriously, what the fuck does that even mean? It's just allowing people to be comfortable working in the situation they're working in. How is that oh, like, woke? That's just called common fucking courtesy. Well, let me tell you what Stacy Graham said about exactly what you just said. St- <laughs> Stacy Graham says, Disney stopped caring about entertainment a long time ago. They are now in the business of woke leftist propaganda. Yeah, like, I went down a rabbit hole, guys. <laughs> 
<laughs> we're only about mid range here. Ooh, man, they're hitting all of the buzzwords <laughs> right? too. Yeah, yeah, it sounds it, it sounds like it's just Okay, this one yeah. like some of these I debated like even including on this cuz the like I'm getting into the worst of the worst people. And I don't want someone to have a sound clip of me saying this, but this is this is the quote. <laughs> this is from user on YouTube called I Love Christmas. So this that's where this Okay. Okay, so you this was a comment on Disney's yeah. YouTube. And the, the video. user is okay. I love Christmas. Okay okay. And I love Christmas says again, guys, this is their words, not mine. We're not going to feel welcome when you remove black history. Hashtag save Splash Mountain. <laughs> Jordan's face. Thank you, Jordan. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, 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 wait. The fuck did they just say? Yeah. I, I had to stop myself from saying the fuck did you just <laughs> Thank say. Thank you, because I didn't say that. <laughs> The fuck did they just say? It was one sentence. I can read it again, but I'm not happy about it. We're not going. No, don't. No, no. Okay. Please don't. I, I, I mean, I can go back and listen to this again later. Jordan's, Jordan's dumbfounded. I. I I'm disgusted. I. I'm fucking disgusted. There's so much to unpack in that one sentence. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, so I, so, so she, much so, to unpack. So, is this a female? I don't know. Oh. So, yeah, that was a big one. That that doesn't even have anything to do with the Disney no. look. <laughs> but. So a, a big part of the video was being inclusive, but it was inclusive to the cast members, you know, inclusivity. And people kind of missed that point and started taking inclusive as, like, for the guests, which is going to be a theme here in the next few. But still, it had so, nothing to do with that either. Oh boy. What they're saying is they're upset because Disneyland and Disney World's removing the racism from Splash Mountain because they feel like that includes black history. Something like that? I mean, I mean, unfortunately, it is in America, and that sucks. So here's another... And Where are you going with this, Josh? I, I, I'm absolutely just fucking dumb. Yeah, no, founded. Jordan said it best. There's a lot to unpack in that one sentence. Yeah, I, I, I think I just need yeah, to no, stop. That's, that's probably fine. So. Wait, then, like, you know what? Probably for the best. We'll, we'll, we'll wait, talk about wait, this later. No, this is making my fucking, like, this is making my chest. Oh, it gets worse. Oh, Jesus Christ. So this is also from the YouTube one. And again, this person just got hung up on that inclus inclusive message. Uh, the, this person is Duo X. That's D-U-O capital X. And they said, <sighs> Except Christians who find pride items extremely offensive. Walt would also have found this gay grooming you are supporting offensive. Oh... What the fuck is gay about beards and tattoos? I don't know. I will kick the fuck out of you. This is why I wanted to do this. It was so nerve wracking, and I just kept going down this rabbit hole. I I hate this. Fucking, you know the 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 the, the Christ loving people are very not Christ like. <laughs> no. Just saying. <laughs> just 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 saying. Look, I, I saw mean, a saying today, and I really liked it. Nothing is more hateful than the love of a Christian. <laughs> and that's that's pretty yeah, fucking apt. Yeah. Uh, so that 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 was it for the YouTube comments. I wanted to go deeper, guys. So I went to our, right. our old stomping ground mice chat. Oh, Haven't geez. been there forever. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Let me preface this with I hate mice chat, <laughs> and for good reason. <laughs> Actually, they're, they're, they're a big reason we had this 
We started this because podcast. of the hatred for them. Between my chat and Josh's vasectomy, we got a podcast. And I'm not yeah. lying. Yeah. <laughs> That's all true. Uh, so this is from Disney, I presume, who's been a Mice Chat member since 2006. I still have a year on them. Oh, okay. Okay, guys. The Here's what they say. How does management know if a certain tattoo is a gang symbol? Not saying cast members are in gangs, but it wouldn't surprise me if more than one of them had a prior affiliation at some point in their lives. Even worse, what if someone confuses a certain design as a gang symbol? I can see this turning into a dangerous situation. I, you, you know, my, my, my wife has a tattoo of a cult symbol on her hand. You want to know how I know that this person is racist? How? <laughs> they immediately thought that all tattoos were affiliated with yes. gangs. Yes. And the next person isn't any better. And this is right. Oh God! This Jeez. again, still on my chat. This is the user is right down Broadway, Disneyland. Like, like, like. This is giving me anxiety. I just want you to know this is fucking giving me anxiety. Uh, I, I'm only like, I'm halfway down the meter right now. <laughs> Disneyland employees are called cast members. They are part of a show. They don't wear uniforms. They wear costumes. A lot of quotes in this one. When they are in the park, they are on stage. They are actors paid to play a part in the world's first experiment in virtual reality. Okay, I'm, I'm only halfway what? through this this uh, paragraph. So far, it just seems like they don't like it. Hold on. Let's wait till the second part of this paragraph. Visible tattoos have no place in the park, unless it's an anchor on your forearm and you work Pirates of the Caribbean. Women in slacks have. Uh, I got an anchor on my. Let me finish. Upper arm? Can I just rip my sleeves off? Can I sure. rip my sleeves off? W- women in slacks have no place on Main Street, USA. Every real. <laughs> oh. Did you just say women in slacks have no place in Main yes. Street, USA? Every relaxation in cast member standards results in less immersiveness in themes of the park. Every transgression of the real world into the thematic lands reduces the impact of the thematic environment and weakens to the point of breaking the veneer of reality of the theme. Hey, you know how I know this person is sexist? <laughs> so, so, so did women in 1890 not wear slacks? I, I, I mean, honestly, I don't think so. But not a lot of really? Starbucks on Main Streets in 1890 either. Just saying. <laughs> But also, it's a theme park. I I don't I don't think slacks came into uh, probably till like the twenties. Yeah, well, in the the night or the twentieth century, I, I think that was that was probably around the. I'm not saying that women didn't wear slacks prior to that, but I feel like it became more socially acceptable in the twentieth century. It also depends on what part of the world you were in, because in the Victorian era, if you were middle and upper class you had to what you know it was proper to wear a long dress that covered your ankle and if you saw if you showed an ankle then that was indecent of you it's like the the fundamentalist mormons here they still dress like that Uh, uh, weird way to say mormons no i specifically said fundamentalist mormons the ones who still dress like pioneers anyway guys i would i my anxiety levels weren't as high as they could have been, so I had to move on from my chat, and I went to one more source. Oh, oh God. Jesus fucking Christ. Was it, was it the Facebook No, comments? that's where I started. That's where this started on. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, shit. Where is Did we go to no, Twitter? No, I didn't even find anything on Twitter. Which, okay. I mean, the Mickey Mutineers Twitter group, uh, the people I associate with, they're, you know, well-rounded people. I'm not going to find this kind of stuff on there. Uh, so Fox News reported on this. <laughs> oh, God damn it. God damn What it. the fuck? So naturally, I had to go to that comment section. Oh, God. How, how are you still alive? Oh, guys, alive? It, was, it was a... Like, this is this is some real... Yeah, no, it was shit. a rough evening preparing for this episode. And I hope you guys understand what I went through. I just wanted to get, like... 
like just the grossest gross of humanity lies in these last few. So uh, and there was actually some that were so bad I I couldn't so I left those off. But this one from Hugh TX007. Was there any consideration by Disney how a family with young kids would feel about this? After all, they are the customers paying all the bills. So. Sounds like a lot of white entitlement to me. So, so, so what's the difference between, you know, say a cast member with a tattoo in the park and maybe facial hair? You know, I, I imagine their, their view of facial hair is Probably less like mine, something more like Jordan's. So, what's the difference between that and a customer going to the park with, you know, tattoos, no sleeves, beard, yeah, flip flops that show my ankles? No, scandalous. Because I don't, I don't, I don't wear socks. My flip flops. I am not from Oregon. <laughs> well, you were there for a while. I'm not from there. No, but you're from somewhere worse, so that was me. I don't know what happened. It's like the one time a car has ever driven by. You have a foghorn? <laughs> no, some asshole with a small penis and a big engine. Anyway, this next well, comment comes well, from... Small penis, big exhaust is what it is. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, from <laughs> a, a user whose name is RMM6629. Okay, now I need to, to just remind you guys all the, all the the new rules that we went over, and this was their take on it. Hey, news. Yeah, we're still on Fox hey. News. Okay. Co- coming to a Disney park near you, Cinderella wearing coveralls and being a man. That's it. That's our whole comment. So so Wait, so, that so I I. I I just want to say, you know, Cinderella in 2021, um, she probably would have to wear coveralls. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Before you comment, let me, uh, let me I, read I, it for Jordan one more time. Coming to a Disney park near you, Cinderella wearing coveralls and being a man. Okay, back to you, Josh. So, so, so no, I, I just, I'm just saying, 2021, Cinderella would probably opt for coveralls. Because, you know, it's, it's just simple tool to, you know, put on for work <laughs> yeah, attire. I mean, she, where, are you, where are you going with this, Josh? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't see what the fuck they're saying. But at the same time, the being the man part. So you're saying that a woman who can fucking do things that aren't considered womanly is a man? You know, fuck this motherfucker. I haven't had time to change the carburetor on my goddamn power washer, so my wife went out there and changed the carburetor on my goddamn power washer and got it running. And then we power washed everything around the house. So fuck these motherfuckers. I understand most of what you just said. There's carburetors. I don't know. (laughs) But you're not wrong. It's that that canyon in Arizona. (laughs) All right, this one's still on Fox News. From user Mickey MCH, and how dare they have anything Mickey in their name? Bullshit. Anyway, more inclusive. We, we should issue them a cease and desist. Just <laughs> you know, no power behind it. Just cease and desist. Should. Anyway, more inclusive. Oh yeah, we know what that means. The circus has arrived. Now you can expect employees at Disney. Oh gosh, this is painful to read. You can expect employees at Disney to look more like those things on Broad Street in Philly that have a dress and a beard. I'm glad my daughter went to Disney long before the insanity took hold. What? Sounds like a lot of these people are just hateful, but you're reading comments from Fox News, so I mean, I feel like that just... So, 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 I mean... I mean, the, the circus already arrived at Disneyland, or Disney World, Magic Kingdom. I mean, circus, the circus arrived there. <laughs> like, literally. Uh, there's I, a I, feel, I feel like you're getting caught up in semantics, Josh. And you, I mean, you're not wrong. No, 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 no. I mean, they, they said the circus arrived. It, it's yeah, been there. Uh, yeah. And, you know, Disneyland had a Mickey Mouse Club circus, but again, not. Well, <laughs> yeah. That too. So this next person, of course, their username is Hinden. 
uh, it's hard to say, Hinden Biden. I guess it's like a pun on the Hindenburg. I mean, they tried. Poorly. Mm. All they said is, no place is safe to take your kids. How impressionable do these people think the kids are with these <laughs> super out of control <laughs> rules? Well, you, you, never mind. I'm, I'm, dude, I, I can't get to the fucking whole Fox News QAnon bullshit. I'll, we'll be here all goddamn month. Okay, I have two more. Uh, but according to that last guy, I mean, I shouldn't even let my kids around Josh. Wait, Jordan, do you have tattoos? Not yet. Okay, well, my kids can hang out with you. <laughs> the no, fuck? For, for now. <laughs> for now. Okay, so this... This person's name is Agent Orange 001. And they say... Uh, isn't Fox News fucking man god Agent Orange? Oh, right. That's where that comes from. They, I feel like they probably meant actual Agent Orange. I mean, a lot of... I don't think, I don't think, I don't think somebody who's a, who's a Trump fan is that... Oh, yeah, no, that's what we would call him. Okay. Anyway... They had one sentence. They can also wear their pants on the ground. What? I wear my pants while I'm on the ground all the time. I think they mean, like, saggy pants. I forgot my belt today. That was annoying. Did you wear your pants on the ground? No, I kept pulling them up. I mean, I was standing on the ground, too, (laughs) but... Okay, last one. This is a twofer. This is something someone said and then someone replied. Because that's a thing they do. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. It's E-H-W-T-F-Y... Oh, <laughs> I see. It's eh, W-T-F, why not? And they say, Disney has gone to liberal hell already. It just took longer to reach the parks. When will they open the Portland exhibit, complete with Antifa and BLM souvenirs? Many will enter, few will make it out alive. And then someone decided to top him. Oh, God. Jesus. They replied, I wonder if the appropriate tattoos policy is BLM as an allowed tattoo, but the American flag totally not allowed. Oh, fuck that guy. Fuck that. Fuck that guy specifically. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Both of them. You know what? All of them. And that, sure. They all suck. That was about where I reached my limit and I had to shut my phone off and say, you know, I'm done. <laughs> that was that was enough. That was enough. Because, guys, that was enough. Anyway. I, 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 I'm at a loss. I don't know what to say to that last one. I, I just... It's just... The people that are anti BLM are just straight up fucking classic racists. Oh yeah, they don't even try to hide it. No, I mean most no. of these people were. The, the 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 fucking Blue Lives Matter is is also racist. Behind that flag is the Confederate flag. I I also found out recently that there's houses that that they're they've replaced their. Um, porch lights and whatnot with blue lights, and, and that just means they're they're blue lights matter supporters. There's a there's quite a few around. Wait, a minute. isn't blue lights on your house like a Hanukkah thing? Yeah, like that's it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, I, sure, during Hanukkah, I'm sure. I don't think they would that kind of. You know what? I'm gonna. <laughs> no, 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 these motherfuckers are cultural cultural appropriation like a motherfucker. The bet, but no, go ahead. What? I just, I, I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just fucking. <laughs> my head is spinning. I know where you were going. You were ranting, and it's going to all go down into uh, some sort of political argument here very I, shortly. No, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> all these motherfuckers can fuck right off. None of this has to do with anything about the Disney policy. They're just fucking bigoted, prejudiced, racist. Oh, don't people. forget sexist. I mean, misogynistic, sexist. So, Let's throw that I in there, I do want to end this on a positive note. So, like, that was a lot of negativity. And here, here, here's my positive takeaway from this. 
is that most of these people said that they will never step foot in a Disney park again. And bless their hearts, I hope they're right. <laughs> they will, though. No. That would make them liars. I'd need them to not. Yeah, I want to I want to I want to call their bluff. Then don't. Yeah. D- then don't, don't. Don't. They will. Just, they're liars, they're shitbags, they're liars. They're, they're going to fucking they're going to do it again and then no, they're going to no, fucking bitch about the whole fucking experience while the kids are having fun and they're trying to make their kids miserable the whole time they're there they're gonna bitch about it they're gonna fucking post it on their social media how it's just miserable for them and their kids while they're the ones making their kids miserable i said i was ending this on a positive note sir you went backwards no on a negative note these people are never going to the parks again and they better not and that's our show You've been listening to the Mickey Mutineers! <laughs> Thanks for listening to us. Stay tuned next week, like I said before, where we cover an entire episode on the uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier season. So, I'm Jake. That's Josh. That's Jordan. If you enjoyed us, we're the Mickey Mutineers. If you haven't enjoyed us, damn it, we are Radio Harambe. No <laughs> shit. <laughs> No, no, they pay us $5 and we give them all of our content for free.